In this episode of the CapCut series, I'll be showing you how to duplicate yourself so you can do stupid effects just like this. So let's just jump into this. Here I am within CapCut. I'm just gonna create a new project and I'm going to add the video I shot to make this effect. So something to pay, in my, pay attention to here, I'm just gonna scroll ahead. Look at my background. You, what you wanna make sure is that the clothing you're wearing in order to get this duplicate effect, you wanna make sure the, the clothing you're wearing is different from your background. So I actually have an RGB light here. As you can see that I'm putting my mouse around, shining on the back. So that way I'm kind of separated from my background. You don't necessarily need a green screen, but you do need a way so that way the software within CapCut can separate you. So what we're gonna do, for this effect, I'm gonna to scroll to the spot where I start dancing, which I actually do two different iterations of it, right there. Then we're gonna click on this video, we're gonna click split, and then we're just gonna delete this part here. So now we have me dancing like an idiot there. That's good. And then we're gonna click on this again, click split, and then delete the end, as well as delete this cap cut part. Now here's where we start adding duplicates. We're gonna to go to the beginning, we're gonna click on overlay, and then click add overlay. And we're gonna literally add the exact same video over the top. So there we go. I'm gonna pinch with my fingers here and so it takes up the full screen. And then we're gonna go to the second part where I started dancing. So as you can see, I danced here and then I just moved to the next position over here where I started dancing. Um, it's usually easiest to do this effect inside where the lighting doesn't change. So that way you don't screw up the effect. So I start dancing here, split, delete the beginning, gonna grab this clip and we're gonna drag it all the way back over. There we go, we now have this dancing clip here. And then what we're also gonna do is click on this, click split right at the end here. And then we're going to delete that part as well. Now, what we're gonna do on this overlay clip is we're going to click the remove background button. And what that's gonna do is have CapCut run its software. It's going to start to erase the background. And now we have two people dancing. And now what we're gonna do is do another layer. And depending on your phone and how much power it has, you may have to export this project, re-put it into a new project, and then add a third layer. But I'm doing this on my iPad, it's got a lot of power, so I'm gonna add a third layer here. Same video, click add. Here's the third spot where I start dancing. I'm gonna zoom in, and then I'm going to click the split button, and then I'm gonna delete the other side, do the same for the other side here. Grab this clip, bring it over the other three. There we go. And then we're gonna click on this again, remove background, and now we have three people all dancing. And if you wanna take this a step further, you could even grab this clip. I could move myself over here, I could move myself over here. Since I, my background has been completely removed, I could just keep reusing these clips and add all these clips of me dancing. Now be sure to learn the rest of the cool effects that you can make within CapCut by clicking on this playlist here and checking out the full series of content that I've created on CapCut Video Editor. So click over here, learn more effects that you can do within CapCut. See you over there.